Hello, people, and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. Well, today, since we left off up here, I decided to do a little bit further with it and um, automate the process of having to um, upscale, upgrade the loot bags. And it'll help also in keeping this thing you know, free of, of filling up with loot bags and stopping the uh, the process. And then I'll figure out something else to pull the rest of it out. But that's what I'm going to do on this episode. So we cleaned up so um, loot bags can always be downgraded. You can split them from, let's see, if you want to take an uncommon bag, you can open it into four common bags or you can put it back. So that's what we're going to do with this is we're going to automate that process of upscaling and then and then we'll store them. And then whenever I decide which version we need, I can always go downgrade it real easily and then open them. That's that's my plan anyway. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to pull from this chest. Let's see here, where is it? How come it's not up? Oh, it's not showing. No icon on the screen. Interesting. Okay, but the only thing is we, all we want to do is pull just the loot bags. So what we need to do is make a filter here item filter Make one of these. And when we shift and right click, it gives us the the options here. But what we need is to get every single one of these except legendary. Because I don't want to pull the legendaries into this looping system that I'm gonna make. So we'll leave the legendary here. We've got to pull out every one of these. We'll white green, the rare, and the epic. So what we're going to do is we are going to, oops, we're going to whitelist these bags. Here. And match to be the metadata should be fine. And we can match or dictionary, but I just don't I don't think it's gonna matter with, with what I'm only pulling out of there. So now we place this in there. As you can see, there's there's the the whitelist of stuff here. So now in theory, it will only pull out what this filter says to pull out. And as you can see, it, it pulled in one of the bags already. So that's good. So I got that set up. And then right here, I'm going to put this auto compressor. But it's going to need power. And there's the power. Let's see here, I could bring up one more pipe, maybe. Maybe two more pipes. Yep, that should do it. And we'll put the auto compressor on top of here. So I'm going to pipe those items into this auto compressor. And then I'm going to pull them out, but only when they're finished. So let's get, I have to move this. I don't think I can use this to move it. No. All right, I have to waste what's in there, but that's okay. Gotta get it out of the way. And I think it went into here. Yeah. Let's get that out of there. Let's put it over here. 
So it's out of the way. Okay, so then we are going to pull this out to another chest. Which is going to be Oh, well, I'll I'll worry about the logistics of it later about how to get it back out of here. And put a make this stuff safe. Now the trickery part is I am going to make this thing loop around and keep feeding itself. But I'm going to have to get move this move this head here. Oh. There we go. I didn't see anything moving on it. So that's going to loop around and then this one's going to loop out. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to add a whitelist on here as well. And this one is only going to pull out these uh, epic bags. So that way, uh, the loot bags will stay inside the loop and keep compressing until they reach legendary, not epic, legendary, white listing legendary. And then once they hit legendary, it will pull out and store them into this. So this is the legendary one. So we're going to put that filter in there. Now this top filter, this one doesn't need a filter at all, I don't think. Oh, this one we want to um, we want to blacklist legendary, so it will not be automatically sucked and going back into the system again. So shift, right click, and we're going to change this to blacklist. Put the legendary in there, and put the filter in there. So now that one's blacklisted. So hook up some pipes here, if I can find them. So now this should pipe into there, only pulling out legendary. And this pipe is going to loop around. I'm going to hook this one up. It's going to drive anything in there but what's whitelisted out of these four items. So there it goes. So it's pulling them in. As soon as it gets four of one kind, and here we'll um, we'll put some of these in, so we can see it happening. Okay, we'll do it really quick here. All right, so it it builds and then sucks it, pulls it back around, pulls more in. And then if nothing went legendary on the, huh? So we need a, uh, okay, I guess we need to put these in. So if we put these in, we should see, since we have two in here, so if we put two more in, it should kick out one legendary and it should go the other direction. So let's try that. There it goes disappeared and now it's in here. So this is my idea right now until I get the refined storage set up fully. Um, this is my little automated way to upgrade the loot bags from this process. And it'll keep this thing <clears throat> from getting so jammed up with single items. I'm just gonna have a problem with, with these, but I'll, I'll figure all that filtering system out as soon as I can. So I think, I also think this is on a, um, 
I'm going to put this in there too. I think this is on a uh, one of the quest book things. And that's another thing. We haven't seen the quest journal in, in quite a while. So probably should head over there. I don't know if I have a have the thing on to check the lights. All right, nothing's on this tank. That's good. No, uh, no spawning area. So save this for later. I will put this back right here for now until I decide what I'm going to do with it, how I'm going to hook this up into the system as well. Put a brick on it. Pick up this chest. And let's go down and check out the, the quest journal. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff in there that we can we can write off. Alright, so, whoa, I haven't been here in a while. No, I haven't made one of those. I'm not, in essence, use nesting pins to automate resources collection. Yep, we've got a bunch of that, as we can see over there. Craft and iron seeds. Okay, so, well, mystical farming. I'm probably not going to have any of these since I haven't really created any mystical farming. So, age of exploration, fly, use angel blocks, no, travel to the nether. Did that to get the nether quartz chicken. Travel to the bottom. Nope. Use diamond chest teleporter to bring. Nope. Kill a wither. No. Travel to the end. Nope. Kill an ender dragon. Nope. Collect dragon's breath. Nope. Well, that one's going to be open. Skill of technology. Now this would probably have a lot. Craft and power a generator of some kind. Yes, we did that already. Automate turning cobblestone into gravel. Yes, that's going over there. With an auto hammer. Use energy conduits to power several machines at once. Yep, I'm headed doing that. Automate loot bag. Oh, there we go. Creation, opening, and compression. Well, I don't know if there's a... I don't know there's an opening. I'll have to look into that. So we're partway there on that one. Automate crop harvesting. Yep, got it right there. Create a refined storage system. Well, that's next. Link an ender pouch to an ender chest. No, I will be building an ender chest, but I'm not for that reason, maybe. Automate storage of ore pieces, chunks from the automatic sieve. Um, nope, I have it, but I don't have it automated. I've already processed the materials to ingots. Create a passive cooling reactor from extreme. Yep, did the reactor create a... Actively cooled? I'll have to look what that is. Maybe he's running some kind of... I don't have to look, I'll have to look at what that means as far as this mod is concerned. And create a maximum size? No, I'm not going to do that. I heard that really crushes the the frame rate and almost crashes the server, so that's out. I probably won't do that. Yeah, I, I was never into the, the turbines. So I can produce... My reactor right now produces like 3,000... Almost 4,000 RF attack. So we have that one done. Build a solar array. I built the solar array tier two. No lightning rod. Collect ore from the void miner. Yes, I've done that. Level up the tinker's tools. I have done that. Add diamonds to a hammer? No. Craft a highest tier? No, no. Well, as you can see, quite a few we fixed We fixed up there. That was probably a little boring. I probably shouldn't have gone through that on, on camera, but you know what? I did. See some of the process there. Garden's full because this is full. The thing's full of seeds, and I'm, I'm so far packed with them. I, I haven't updated it because I don't think I need any more right now. So I'm just going to leave that sit solid and locked off. And still working on figuring out if best to get rid of the chickens or not. Because the server is getting a little laggy for me. But that's it for this episode. Main goal was to automate the loot bag thing and I, I did that and that is where I'm going to leave it. So, 
leave a comment down below, you know, with your opinions and don't forget to subscribe. It's free to do so. If you enjoyed this video, poke that like button as you would a friend. And on that note, thanks for watching. And until next time, good day. Thank you.